G'day guys, uh, Rhett here. I'm doing part two of the uh, 33 and a half inch tire uh, guard radiusing for my Amarok. So there's the tires once again. Uh, I've done both fronts now. This is the first rear and uh, the main area the hits on my car is, uh, is here. Now the reason for that, it wouldn't happen, but uh, I've got Outback Armour shocks which are quite a bit longer and I've got custom leaves which give great flex and are more comfortable and uh, still carry a load. So between those I get a lot of flex and it starts to rub here, it rubbed with the, two, the old 33 inch tyres but it was just passable, but with these tyres it just, it wouldn't, I don't think it would work. Now there's these two little knob things here, I've cut them off. This is, remember, this is the cab. Uh, now the knobs had a rubber mount on them and that was to keep the inner guard from rubbing against the, the cab. Uh, now I'm just going to let it rub against the paint but I'll, I might put something there later on and deal with that. But for now I just need to get maximum clearance. This area here I've uh, sort of forced that in a bit, it was more proud. So that area there, uh, there was a tab here which was holding the inner guard. I've cut that off, I don't really need that. I can just probably screw into the metal or even delete it one way, one way or the other. Now this area is the main area. Uh, so what I've done is I've cut the old lip off and then I've folded a new lip. Uh, as I've mentioned in the previous video, it doesn't need to be pretty. It's all going to get covered by the flare. So I've drilled the holes. Uh, because I'm replacing the uh, the dummy bolts in the flares with nice stainless steel screws. So once I've put the inner guard back on and put the flare on, I'll then get the heat gun and I'll be able to move that flare particularly and the inner guard and, and make it sit further forward and I'll have the room for the tyres and they shouldn't scrub.